For cheap, fast, and reliable coins, make sure to head on over to CoinBankUT and make sure to use code POODLE at checkout for 15% off. Hey, what is up, guys? It's Poodle back, and today we're going to be doing our top five players to use that 94 to 95 power pass on. Now, this is my favorite power pass yet. I have so much things that I want, and I can't decide which one. These will be very beneficial for you guys. It will benefit me with about two to three different players. If you guys could down below, please help me figure out who I want. I'll tell you at the end of the video or during the video who I specifically want, and then we'll figure out how we're going to work my team around that, if you guys don't mind. Also, if you've been enjoying my content, it would really appreciate if you can go down below, comment, like, and please subscribe. It really helps. It means a lot to me. We're growing pretty fast, and we're at 204 subscribers. I'm trying to get to 300, so if you could, please go subscribe. Also, make sure to follow me on Twitter and hit me up there. I'm always open if you guys need any help with these power passes or anything in Madden or the new series. But besides that, let's get right into the video. Hey, guys, so one of the best players that I believe should be, be used for this power pass is Lawrence Taylor. I don't know if he comes in. He probably, I don't know if he's, I don't know if I'm going to do this in order, but Lawrence Taylor is definitely up there. Maybe the first one because... No, we'll give him the first because you can't you can't pass him with training. A lot of the other guys that I'm having this list, you can't pass with training. But again, if you don't have the money for that, it's very useful. So Lawrence Taylor is going to be getting an Ultimate Legend very soon. So even if you don't get the power pass in time, his price is going to skyrocket to like 700k when he gets his Ultimate Legend. So and that's where you want to use the power pass. His price is going to be probably the highest of all these guys. I will probably be picking up Lawrence Taylor soon. Maybe with this power pass, he's going to be an absolute beast and I can get rid of Darius Leonard for him. And trust me, guys, you're going to want this card on your team. He's going to be an animal. And there's no other way around it. He's the best right outside linebacker in the game. He even destroys my O-line online. And I don't even get it because my O-line is better than his overall. Like, he has better, he has better stats. But Lawrence Taylor is another kind of beast. And you need him on your team. So I'll probably be using him. Okay, for the second one, I'm going to be taking George Kittle because he's a fan favorite in Mutt. He is literally a wide receiver. Everyone in Madden wants him right now. I even want him, but I can't afford him right now. And I don't I didn't think it was worth it, but it definitely is because if you power him up, you'll have like a 97 speed for my team. He has catching of Travis Kelsey. He's a he's a stud and he's literally everyone's favorite tight end right now. They'll probably give him a new card later in the year just because he's literally the fan favorite. So I definitely have to pick this guy up. So this is what my concern is between right now. I'm, I don't know if I should take Lords Taylor. Or George Cato, those are my first two so far that I'm confused between. So remember those, keep those in mind, and help me pick them out. If you know down, if you know right now what I think what you think I should do, post it down below. And um, George Kittle, yeah, he has to be one. There's no other way around that. He is a top tight end. He goes for 550k. You can't power pass him. Another card that I believe you should be using it on. They don't have him on the block, so I'll be showing you mine. Is Khalil Mack. This card is the probably the best left end in the game. I don't care what anyone else says. He plays like a beast. With powered up and everything, he has like a 92 speed. He's super fast. He can play the QB spy. He could pass rush. He's tall. I love Khalil Mack. I mean, you can power pass him for 26,000 training. So that's on you. That's like 340k right now, which isn't bad at all. So if you want to power pass him, go ahead. If you want to use training, go ahead. But again, it's not always about the coin value of these cards because some people just don't have coins. So it comes down to what card do you want? Because people who don't have a lot of coins, they don't open packs, or they're no money spent. It doesn't matter that. Like for me, it doesn't. For me, I take the best coin value probably because I can always go buy the other card. Some people have one shot at a card because they don't have the coins to go buy the other card. So whatever they pick doesn't matter about the coin value. It's what they'll be stuck with for the rest of the year. So Khalil Mack is definitely valuable. And so we got Khalil Mack, Lawrence Taylor, and George Kittle so far. Okay, a very overlooked one is Deion Sanders, 95. See, he's not the, he's not the most expensive. He's not the newest, but he is the best corner in the game still in my eyes. And he doesn't get a lot of love as much as he used to as far as people talking about him. His car came out like three months ago, three or four months ago, and he's still the best corner in the game. He plays so great for me. He is on offense, like like kick returns and punt returns. He just completely destroys people. I get so many returns with him on pick return, on pick sixes. Like, he's crazy. Defensively, he can out jump and ball hawk any ball in the game. It is crazy how great this card is. He's 390k. You can use him on him and you can finish. You need a Dion. There, there's cards in the every game that you need. You need a Dion Sanders. You need a Deion Sanders, no matter what on defense. There's no debate about that. Lawrence Taylor is usually one of those cards, a glitch on defense. You kind of need one of those. I want to say Vic, but you don't really. It's quarterback. I mean, anyone can get the right quarterback, but the meta quarterback is Vic. But Deion, you need him. So if you don't have a Deion yet, I highly recommend you get that Deion because he will be a game changer for you on defense. Okay, a card that should be here, but I can't show it to you is Bobby Wagner. So I'll show you guys his higher overall one. The Bobby Wagner card, I'm not too excited about because it is a power-up for this Bobby Wagner. I kind of hate when I power. I use my power pass to power up to another card that I have to spend 800k on. So at the end of the day, it's like I just wasted my power pass, kind of. So, but in any, anyways, if you can go to power up your Bobby Wagner and you haven't yet because it's too expensive, you can use a power pass to get past his team of the week boss. I'm pretty sure it is. Something like that. 
So, I highly recommend you guys do that if you need to. Very be One of the best linebackers in the game, I think, tied with Ray Lewis. People say better than Ray Lewis. I love my Ray Lewis, so I'm not going to go that far. But if you've been looking to power pass him and you want a Bobby Wagner, or you just want a Bobby Wagner, you can't afford this one, go on over and use that one. Now, those are my top five. Now, we got some honorable mentions that I'll go through real fast. So, let me show you guys a few honorable mentions before I head out. This card, I'm pretty excited about. I don't know if I'll be getting him. Okay, so... There's a Von Miller, I'm pretty sure. There's a Von Miller somewhere. I don't know where he is. Let's see if I can find you his new one. But Von Miller, I highly recommend you use for that power pass too. If you're trying to get... He's not on the blog, he just came out. So there's a team MVP Von Miller, 97 overall. And I don't remember what card you could power pass with him. I'll check Mudhead real quick, but I don't remember what card it was. Because it was kind of like not spoken about too much, but it was really, really good. The Von Miller card is, yeah, it's, an, it's a primetime performer. Okay, it's a primetime performer. So, he's on the block. You could always power pass him. So, that's, what's, that's the only thing about Von Miller is you could probably power pass him for, like, 20000 not a lot at all. So, that's probably only, like, 250 k So, if you want to just do that, you can. But if you don't have coins and you just want to use your power pass to something you like, you're a Broncos fan, Von Miller is a great option. Now, another great option, I'll go through these real quick, is... Patrick Peterson, he's a fan favorite, and he has a limited time card, so again, you could power pass it for 26 k but if you don't like doing that and you don't have coins, you could power pass this Patrick Peterson, where is he right here, instead of spending the 650 k or the training, amazing card, top cornerback, top athlete, highly recommend this card. Now, in regards to all my honorable mentions, there's one more, I mean, I don't really like him, I don't think his stats are too great. But if he's on the right team with the right chems and stuff, he could be amazing. Some people just like him. I personally just like him. I wouldn't use him in Madden, but I like him. This Jalen Ramsey card is easy power, easily up there to be power passed. But the only issue with him is that compared to Pat Pete and Deion Sanders and all them, I feel like I'd rather get them. They're better. But Jalen Ramsey, if it wasn't for them, would be a top cornerback. And if you want to power pass him, he's a great option. He's a lot of coins, apparently. 700K, but he's definitely not worth that. He's a limited time, so you can power pass him also. So all these cards, you could the, the honorable mentions I mentioned because they're low in price because you could power pass it for 250k, and the highest price ones were my top five, and they were the most valuable in my opinion. So that is about it for this video as far as that goes. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate all the love and support I've been getting on this channel. It's been a very fun time. Like I guess in the last video, I'll be posting both of those today. I will be doing a stream very very soon today. I'm gonna try to be streaming the series five and all the stuff I'll be doing. So please come out to watch that. I'll put it up on Twitter for you guys to see. If you haven't followed me on Twitter yet, poodle underscore gaming underscore. Hit me in the DMs. I feel like about twice to three times a day, four times a day, someone's watching this video, seeing what I just said, my poodle gaming, and they hit me in the DMs like, yo, you know, you said I could hit your DMs. What do you need? You know, what would I need? Well, what can you help me? And I help them every time if you can ask anyone. So don't be shy. Come through. Also, if you, I, I'd really appreciate it if you can go down and subscribe. It really helps. We're growing pretty fast. We're at 204 subscribers right now. Try to hit a thousand by July. That's my goal. Thousand by July. And if we could hit that, that'd be amazing. I'd be so happy. Also, if my outro is up and running by this video, hopefully it is, you will see a big subscribe button. Please make sure to go click it. Oh, I know it's, uh, it's shiny and red, so I know you guys want to click it instead of just hearing my voice. So thank you for that. Also, let me know what you guys think about the outro music and stuff. And if you guys like it, I will be keeping it. So I'm out. See you guys later.